Addition and subtraction with base 10 blocks. What is addition? Addition means putting objects together. Say we have five lemons and we get three more lemons. We can use addition to figure out how many lemons we have now. Now we have eight lemons. Five plus three is eight. What is subtraction? Subtraction is the opposite of addition. When you subtract, you take objects away. If we have eight lemons and we eat three of them, we can use subtraction to figure out how many lemons we have left. Eight minus three equals five. We only have five lemons left. We can use base 10 blocks to model addition and subtraction of larger numbers. Let's try adding 125 plus 212 using base 10 blocks. First, make the first number. Five ones, two tens, and one hundreds block shows the number 125. Next, add the second number to it. So I need two more ones, another 10, and two more hundreds. My answer is shown with blocks, 337. Let's try a trickier one. This time we're adding 238 plus 135. Make the first number. I have eight ones, three tens, and two hundreds. I'll make the second number. Five more ones, three more tens, and another hundred. All right, let's figure out what number this is. I have 13 ones, six tens, and three hundreds. Hmm, that doesn't really make sense. I can't put a 13 in the ones place of my answer. I'm gonna need to regroup here. I can group 10 of these ones together to create another 10. That's actually a group of 10. Now let's see what our answer would be. Now I have three ones, seven tens, and 300. Now our answer makes sense. This is called regrouping, and it's exactly what we do when we use the addition algorithm. Let's take a look. Eight plus five is 13, but I can't put a 13 in the ones place of my answer. So I put down the three ones and I carry a group of 10 over to B with the other tens in the tens place. Then I add all the tens together and the hundreds together, 373. Now let's try subtracting with base 10 blocks. Let's do 244 minus 113. This time I'm gonna make the big number, 244, using base 10 blocks. That's four ones, four tens, and two hundreds. And because I'm subtracting, I'm going to take away the smaller number, starting with the ones. So I need to take away three ones. Okay, they're gone. Now I need to take away one 10, gone, and I need to take away 100, gone. Whatever's left is my answer. I have 131. Let's look at a trickier one, a subtraction problem with regrouping. 415 minus 323. Once again, start by making the big number, five ones, a 10, and four hundreds. That shows 415. And then I need to take away the smaller number, starting with the ones. Okay, I need to take away three ones. I can do that. Gone. Now I need to take away two tens. Hmm. I don't have enough tens to take away two tens. I only have one. What I need to do is regroup. I'm going to break one of these hundreds apart into 10 tens, because that's what 100 is. It's just 10 groups of 10. So I'll take a 100 block, I'll turn it into 10 more tens. Now I can subtract those two tens, gone. And then I just need to subtract three hundreds, gone. 
Whatever's left is my answer. I have nine tens and two ones or 92. This is also called regrouping, or sometimes we call it borrowing. And it's also what we do when we use the subtraction algorithm. Let's take a look. I'm going to subtract my ones first, which I can do just fine. Five minus three is two. But when I go to subtract the tens, I can't take two away from one. So I have to regroup or borrow from the hundreds place. I take away a group of 100, so I cross off the four. Now I only have three hundreds. And I turn that 100 into 10 tens and add it to that 10 I already have. So I had one 10 and I just got 10 more of them. So now I have 11 tens. And now I can take two of them away, leaving nine tens. And 300 minus 300 is nothing. So my answer is 92. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.